found this shiplapped uh, wood panel. It's 15 inches at Michael's. And I'm going to start by taping down the hanger. I'm going to start with Wise Owl White Primer. I like to use, I'm going to leave this in a white tone and I like to do it for the staining of the wood. And sometimes I'll just leave it as my white. And that's what I'm going to do today. Once dry, I hit it with a good sanding just to make sure I had a nice smooth surface to work with. And I started by putting a nice barrier of Wise Owl One Hour Enamel Clear. I'm using a Gen Foam Brush, which is an inexpensive option when working with your one hour enamel. We have this new stencil at chalkitupfancy.com. It's the Welcome. It fit perfect with this 15 inch circle, just to keep that in mind. And I'm gonna tape it down. I'm starting by using black tape and a dabber I picked up at the Dollar Tree. Now the key is I do not have a lot of paint on my dabber. You see how I passed over, it did not even cover. And I just keep going back and forth and almost in layers without really adding a lot of paint. This is the key to nice stenciling and no bleed through. You almost want it to be a powder um, airbrushed look. It does not have to be a heavy black to get good results. And here you go. So now I'm gonna take an art brush and I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna connect my letters. This is not necessary if you're nervous about this, but um, I do think it makes it look a little nicer by connecting the letters. And one of the tips I wanna give you when you're connecting your letters is, and you wanna do this while your paint is still wet, and sometimes when I use a brush, it looks like you can almost tell that you connected the letters. So what I do is I take a little bit of the paint and I do a pouncing motion. This way you almost get the same texture as a dabber and it makes it blend a little bit better. I hope that helped. You'll know exactly what I'm talking about if you've ever done this. So once all my letters were connected and I allowed everything to dry, we're gonna be working with Citrus Slice. This is a brand new transfer at chalkitupfancy.com along with a nice bunch of others if you wanna go check that out. Um, this is just a beautiful transfer. It has the bright orange um, oranges with the slices. And I'm gonna just start picking this apart and starting to add this to my board. I like to start in the upper center and then the lower center and then add in from there. So I started with a nice uh, cluster of the leaves. And remember you have these little different um, images that you can layer on top of those leaves if you wanna add an orange. And you're gonna get a little stick in your transfer and you're just gonna take it and you're gonna rub on top of your image until the top plastic film releases. I use a uh, paper towel to rub after I'm done laying it down. This is an important step. You wanna rub um, with a little pressure and it just makes sure that your um, image has adhered well to your board. And now I'm doing the second uh, first application. I do the top and then the bottom center and then I kind of move from there. It's just an easier way of making sure you have some sort of a balance. That's just me. There's no right or wrong way. I'm just telling you how it works for me when I'm doing these types of circular boards. And I'm just going through and cutting out different parts of my image and laying them down um, as my eye likes it, basically. There's no rhyme or reason. Um, once I get those center images down. And again, it's just a rubbing of the stick on top of your newly placed down image until the upper film is ready to release. You just wanna take your time and be gentle with it. If you go to peel it and it doesn't look ready, you just lay it back down and continue to rub. 
Once everything is applied, you could see this is in real life. I'm very, I have a sponge that I just very lightly dusted over my welcome. It just gives the paint a very even tone um, on your stencil. It makes it look more natural. Again, it was just a brush by, a brush over. And now I'm just rebuffing just to make sure that everything is laying down. And then I'm going to do my last coat of one hour enamel clear. I'm very happy with my sign. I think this came out beautiful. I hope you do too. Let me know in the comments and have a great day. If you'd like to see other tutorials, you can check us out on YouTube. You can now watch all our videos at chalkitupfancy.com. For any paint products, tissue paper, transfers, or mesh stencils, chalkitupfancy.com.